Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in today's video we're gonna be creating a powerful breaking news intro featuring a dynamic rotating globe and bold broadcast style graphics. No plugins needed, just After Effects magic. So hit the like and subscribe button and let's get started! Alright guys, here we are in After Effects and as you can see I have already imported this earth map here inside the project window and also I will leave the link down below in the description so you can download this texture so you can easily follow along this tutorial. Ok, now let's first create new composition like always, hit here or hit on this little icon and as usual I will rename it final, of course you can type here whatever you want and this is gonna be full HD, 30 FPS duration, it's gonna be 6 seconds long. Hit OK and now it's time to create our background, go right click to create new solid layer and I'll just rename it BG for background, also full HD and then hit OK. Now let's go here inside the effects and presets and if you can find this panel go to window and you will be able to find effects and presets here. Now let's go back here and I will type ramp effect, drag and drop onto our background and grab this first point, start of the ramp, move to upper left corner and this second one to lower right corner ok and here for the first color if you want to see exact color like the ones in the preview type 101 850 to get this bluish look hit ok and for the second one i will type 040615 and this is gonna be dark dark blue color and then hit ok and now as you can see we have this cool looking contrast of the blue color Ok, now for the next step I will be importing this earth map, select it here from the project window, just drag and drop inside this final composition and as you can see this is a smaller one, hit S for scaling or just open up this little triangle, go inside the transform and for the scale I will type 107. Ok, and now let's select this earth map, go here inside the effects and presets again, I will find offset effect, drag and drop ok on our earth map and now let's animate this center and set up our playhead to 0 seconds and let's create first keyframe and now I will go to around 6 seconds and type here 0. Now when we hit 0 in our final composition this is gonna be our background animation. Now let's go back here inside the effects and presets and I will type exposure effect under the color correction category and drag and drop onto our earth map. And for the exposure I will type 1. Ok, now let's hit T for the opacity and lower down opacity to around 50%. And this is gonna be our background. Ok, now let's go back here in the project window and drag and drop this earth map once again. Ok, and we can rename it, this is gonna be globe. And also next effect that we're gonna use, go here inside the effects and presets and I will add CC sphere effect under the perspective category just drag and drop onto our globe and here let's make further adjustments for the radius instead of 200 I will type 500 ok and now let's open up this shading option and for the ambient I will do 20 ok also for the specular instead of 10 let's type 100 let's also crank up this number for the roughness maybe to go 0.150 or so and also for the reflective instead of 0 I will type 1. Now let's also go back here inside the effects and presets, find here again exposure effect, drag and drop, ok and for the exposure I will type here 4 and now we have a look like this and also third effect that we're gonna use here is gonna be drop shadow effect, drag and drop also onto our globe and here let's change shadow color, you can also type here hexacode, this is gonna be 41, 52, 9b and to get this kind of bluish look for our shadows, hit OK. Now for the distance type here 0 and for the softness I will type 340. And now as you can see we have these cool looking shadows around our globe. You can always go here and change the color to whatever you want. You can also play around with the background, but for these tutorial purposes I will leave those colors here. Alright guys, now it's also time to animate our globe, set up our playhead to around 0 frames and now let's go here inside the rotation, inside the CC sphere effect, open up and let's set up the first keyframe for the Y rotation, like so and here I will type 100, ok, now let's move our playhead to around 6 seconds and let's change here this first number and I will type here 1. And now when we hit 0, this is gonna be animation of 
our globe and this is looking awesome Alright guys, now it's time to also create more stuffs for the background and also to create particles. So go right click to create new solid layer and I will rename this one to dots. Also pull HD, hit OK. Now go here inside the effects at presets and I will type ball action effect, CC ball action. This one drag and drop onto our dots. Here for the grid spacing I will type 20 and also for the ball size I will type 7. Now we have a look like this and also let's add fill color okay drag and drop above this ball action and basically you can change your colors but i will leave it to pure white color it's up to you also to play around with this option if you want hit okay and now go here inside the modes option if you can't see modes hit here toggle switches and modes and find here overlay and this is gonna be looking cool now let's click here on our dots layer go here edit and i will now duplicate this solid layer hit ctrl plus d this is the shortcut okay and now you can also select this globe map and move it above our dots solids and now as you can see our layer won't be overlapping our cool looking earth okay for next step let's create another solid layer go here right click to create new solid and this is gonna be particles okay also pull hd go back here inside the effects of presets and i will type star burst effect this one under the simulation category drag and drop onto our particle solid layer and here for the scatter you can also play around with this effect i will do 800 and i will lower down speed to maybe 0.08 or so and for the grid spacing i will type 3 now let's add again here fill effect find here inside the effects and presets and drag and drop onto our particles and also i will type here hexacode ff0070 to get this maybe pinkish look and then hit ok now you can also select this globe map move it above and as you can see when we hit zero we have this great looking particles inside this final composition Alright guys, now it's also time to create text here inside the final composition and I will close this effects control for now. Now let's hit here again on this little icon to create new composition and I will rename it to text and this is gonna be 4k, this is really important because of effects that we're gonna be using later on. Okay, 3840 by 2160 for the height and for the frame rate and duration leave it as it is, hit ok. And now I will hit control plus T or go hit on this little icon, horizontal type tool and I will type breaking news text, okay. Now let's select it and really important here, I'm using this Montserrat black font for the font size 150 and also turn on this Fox bold option. Now let's go here inside the align panel and if you can find align and paragraph, go here on the window and you will find align here, okay. And center the text like so here in the middle of the composition now let's go back here inside the final composition, you can close this text composition for now and here from the project window drag and drop inside this final composition. And as you can see how it looks our breaking news text 4k composition here inside this final full HD comp. Okay now go here back inside the effects and presets and for the first effect I will type CC cylinder effect under the perspective category and just drag and drop onto our text and basically here we can change some options for the radius i will type here 88 and also for this render option instead of full change here to outside okay now let's go back here inside the effects and presets once again type drop shadow effect drag and drop onto our text and this first drop shadow effect leave it as it is now i will hit ctrl plus d and duplicate it and here for the second one for the distance type 0 and for the softness i will do 50. now we have these cool looking shadows around our breaking new text okay and also for the final effect here i will type exposure again drag and drop and for the exposure i will go 0.50 Ok guys, for the next step let's add some bevel here on our breaking news text, go right click, find here in layer styles and select this option bevel and emboss, ok, and as you can see we have this cool beveling around our breaking news text. Ok, now you can open up this bevel and emboss options and you can basically play around here with the parameters, but I will leave this one to you and I will leave on default settings. Okay, this is looking cool to me and now it's time to animate our breaking news text. Go here at 0 frames, okay, 
And now let's also open this rotation options and set up the first keyframe for the Y rotation. I will type here 150, go to around six seconds or so. And here I will type minus 150. Okay, now let's hit zero to see the preview. And this is gonna be our great looking animation. Just wait until this renders out here in the final composition. And as you can see, we have created this great looking breaking news text. And also for the next step, let's create our text as a 3D, select it here. Now go here inside toggle switches and modes, if you can find this 3D option, select it here. Now hit P for position, and for this set parameter, move it a bit closer to our globe. I will type 200, okay. And now this is looking great. I will now hit zero once again, and I will wait until this renders out. And our animation, guys, looks really stunning. Okay, people, now we're gonna create first adjustment layer here inside the final composition. Go right click to create new adjustment layer. Okay, and this is gonna be glow. Go back here inside the effects and presets and type here glow effect and drag and drop onto our adjustment layer. And for the glow threshold, I will type 70. And for the radius, let's type 200. And now we have this cool looking glowy look of our breaking news text. Okay, now it's time to create some lights here, go right click to create new solid layer and this is gonna be light 1, hit this ok, go here inside the effects and presets, for the first effect I will add fill effect, drag and drop onto our light 1, change this fill color to black color, this is really important because we will use here add blending mode and only that way we can change light color later on, hit ok. Now let's go back here again inside the effects and presets, find lens flare effect drag and drop onto our light one solid layer okay and now let's hit here toggle switches and modes if you can't find blending modes go here normal and find here add now you can see our lights and for the lens type change here from this first option to 105 millimeters prime okay and now let's grab this point grab this handle and move it somewhere around here okay now let's go here back in the effects and preset find triton effect drag and drop onto our light one and basically change midtones to whatever color you want i will type 00a0ff this is gonna be this cyan blue color hit okay now we can also animate this player center go here at zero seconds and set up the first keyframe for the player center now let's go to around six seconds and you can also use shift and left mouse click and move it to around half of the scene somewhere around here let's hit zero to see the preview wait until this renders out and now here inside the final composition as you can see we have created this cool looking blue light now what we can do is to duplicate this light one hit ctrl plus d we can rename this second one to light two okay you can change here color to maybe red color go here and change the red one hit okay and for the flare center, let's click on this stopwatch to remove the keyframes for the flare center animation. Okay, now let's go back here again to zero frames. And for this light to solid, select this lens flare once again, grab this point and move it to around here. And we can also create this red light animation. Okay, now let's set up the first keyframe for the flare center. Go here at six seconds. And you can also use again shift and left mouse click and move it all the way to the right side outside our scene okay and we have created great looking red light here inside the final scene let's hit zero once again wait until this renders out and as you can see guys our scene is looking really really cool and guys you are also able in every moment to go here and play around with options until you're satisfied with your own final results also for the final step what you can do is to select this light 1 and light 2, hit T for the opacity, you can also play around here with the intensity, it's up to you to play around with maybe to go to around 70 or 80% for the intensity and this is gonna be great. And also guys one important note, you can type here inside this text composition whatever you want, for example I will rename the text to news intro and when we go back here inside the final composition and our text has been applied and this is looking awesome let's try maybe some different text this is gonna be of tony motion okay go back in the finals and our text is looking great 
Alright guys, that was everything for today's tutorial and if you learned something new, hit that like button and also please consider to subscribe if you haven't already, you can also drop me a comment down below if you like this tutorial and also turn on the bell notification so you never miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. Take a look at my channel, you can find a bunch of different tutorials, intros, slideshows, backgrounds and so many more. And thank you guys for watching this one and until next time, stay creative and bye bye.